This video is a quick tutorial on how to say the case in patient management. On the icons palette located on the left side of your screen, the folder represents patient management. You can click that in order to open up a new case. Click on that and you come to the patient management module. Another way to come to it is here at the top. Here you have more choices. You can create the new patient. You can also save a clipboard. You can save a clipboard to an existing patient. And you can view your patient list so that you can open a patient that you previously created. Let's go ahead and when you first create a new patient, you see this screen and patient tab is always visible here at the top. The one thing that you do need to fill in is your patient's name. So we're going to put patient name. That is what you have to fill in. And you can see that the tab at the top populated with the name that I typed. Now you can fill in any other thing as well. Um, date of birth, contact details, address, anything about the session. This, the consultation date is always going to show today's date, but you can change it. You just would come here and choose a different number or a different month. And you can fill in about symptoms, previous treatments, diagnoses, put in some patient notes and comments. You can also do attachments if there's some image or something similar that you want to um, attached to your file. You can do that. You just um, would search your files and select one and put it in. And then that file is going to be in that particular session when you go back to it. And after you've analyzed your case, you can fill in the prescription. And then at the bottom, we'll show the previous sessions. Once you have saved, um, this will populate with, with what you've saved. So let's go ahead and hit save down here at the bottom. And now you see it reflects the date that we chose. There's no clipboard showing because we haven't saved one to it. So let's go ahead and go ahead and create a clipboard. We're just gonna throw some rubrics onto the clipboard um, just to give you an idea here, and then we're going to go back here to patient management. We're going to hit save. How do you want to save your session? I want to update because you see I already hit save to uh, for the program to remember the consultation date and the name. I had already created that chart and hit save. I want to update it now by adding the clipboard. This clipboard, yes, hit save. Patient updated successfully, very good. And now when I close this chart, that clipboard over here that I created goes away because it's now within that chart. It's saved within that chart. Let's go find it. We're gonna go down to view patients. We're gonna go here, open. You can see when you hit open, and you have information that you've already saved in a chart, it automatically goes down to your session lines. And here you can see today that date that we chose, the consultation date, the remedy that I chose, the potency. And if I click here on this session line, anywhere, now on the left side, you have the consultation date and time, the remedy that you gave, and your clipboard has now shown up again. And so that's how you save a new clipboard to a new chart. Thanks for listening.